Hey guys, this is Project Euler number 13, problem 13, large sum. We're gonna work out the first 10 digits of the sum with the following 150 digit numbers. We have 50 digits here in a row. We got 100 of these rows. We're gonna be figuring it out using C. All right, I have the answer, but I'll show you how to do it. Um, before I get into the coding part, I'm just gonna pop up a little paint window here and tell you what we're gonna be doing. So you know how you learned like in kindergarten or first grade or however, we did addition, which I don't know if it's long addition or whatever you call it, but we wrote it out. Say we have something like, you have something like 21 and 14, you know, you got the five and you got a three and you have hor horribly aliased lines because you zoomed in on your paint application, but that's okay. But you ended them up like this, right? And all is well and good, put a plus there. If we had something a bit more like say, 335 and like 218 and like 1, 2, 3, we'll add up these. 3 and 5 is 8 plus 8 is what? 16, right? So you have a 6 and then you carry, you carry the 1. That's going to be important in what we're doing. Uh, 1, 2 is 3, 3 is 6, 1 is 7, and then 5. But this is this is basically the process that we're going to be doing here. It's, it's pretty simple and it's pretty short, but that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be adding up values in the first column. Um, we're going to take in, use the carry digits, and then we're going to go column by column, and we're going to carry over each time. And then our final answer, we're going to put into, say, like an array, but it'll be the answer down here. And that's basically what we're going to be doing when we're coding it, but let me bring up the editor. All we need, as all you should need for anything ever, is just the standard I.O. header. What more do you need than to print to screen, right? Uh, we're going to have our main, we're not going to have arguments to it, because we're too good for that. <laughs> but the variable declarations, well, for our numbers, we're going to make an integer array of the numbers, and it is 100 rows of 50 digit numbers, so we're going to have a two-dimensional array. And for the purposes of time, I have it typed out, so I'm just going to copy paste this because it takes forever. Well, not forever, but a good amount of minutes. That's a lot of numbers. <laughs> but we have, them all, we have them all here just typed out and comma delimited. C likes to be iffy, sometimes it'll think it's an octal if there's a zero in front and other miscellaneous things, but we got them all here. So after we have that all all out of the way, the other things we'll need, we're gonna have our final our final answer, which I'm just gonna call, I guess, answer is fine. Um, it's gonna be 52 places, 52 positions long, and you'll find out later. Uh, it has to do with the carry values. We're also gonna have a counter, I'll just call it count, for some loop iterations. And we're gonna have rows and columns that we're gonna use to go through the big old integer array there. In addition, we're gonna be keeping a running total for each column, so I'm gonna have a column total. And I'm also gonna have a variable for the carry value that we're gonna use each time. So first things first, what we're gonna do, like I showed in the little addition thing there in MS Paint, we're gonna loop through each column, we're gonna add all the values in that column. Loop through. Each column total, no, each column. We're gonna add up all the values in that column. So I'm gonna use a for loop, I'm gonna go through each column. Now we're gonna go right to left for the purposes of this. We're not going left to right, we wanna add them up correctly. We're, we gotta start at the ending column. And I think it's alt click, right? Yeah, multi cursor ending column, and then go and add up this one, take any carry values, add up this one, take any carry values, add up this column, so on and so forth. So that's what we're doing here. So we're starting at the end of the 50 digit row, so we're going to do 49 because indexes are zero based. We're going to say while well, our column is greater than or equal to zero because we want to include the first one and minus minus. All right, so for each column, we're going to initialize the total to zero because before going through it, it should be zero. We haven't done anything with it yet. But when we do move on to the next column after we're gonna have a carry value in case the value is, is over 10. We're gonna have a carry of one or what have you. So we're gonna add that to the next column that we go through. Um, in this case, there wasn't a previous one, so it's still zero, but we're gonna add a carry value for subsequent ones. And then we have to go through each row to get the, the column value in that row. So, you know, from row one, position 49, all the way to row 100, position 49. We're gonna loop through the other, the rows at this point. 
This one we can do left to right because it'll be up and down, however you want to think of it. Row less than 100. And row plus plus. And then for each row, for each column value over here, the 49th one in each one, we're just going to add them up. So we're going to add them equal to our column total. And the current position we're on will be the row column value for a two-dimensional array. And that's all we have to do to get all the values in the, our first final column here. And then after we've added them up, we need to carry over any tens that may have happened. Um, and to get the carry value, we're going to set it equal to the column total divided by 10. Now the reason we do this is because, maybe I can put the paint window back up, it looks, looks great and ugly, I love it. Okay, so the reason we're doing carry equal to the column total divided by 10 is because we get this, we get 11, right? Mm, and it's 11. At this point, this would be 11, but we have to do a carry value. So basically, 11 divided by 10 is, is 1 with the remainder. Um, I'll just put an R with the remainder of 1. But we don't take the remainder if we just do divide, so we're just getting the 1, and that's going up here. I guess I'll circle this too and make it even more confusing. <laughs> and, that's, and we're using that as the carry value. After we get the carry value there, the value that is left at the bottom here, the other 1, that we have is what we're putting into our final answer. The other one's just being carried over until those column totals get added and equal to our final answer. But the column total after having its first digit chopped off for the carry is also is going into our answer. So that is what we are going to use to put in our our answer array. We're putting it. We're going by column this time. So the first last digit here in the column is going to equal. Column total mod 10, modulus 10. So we're basically, we're taking the remainder. And that's all we need to do to get basically most of the way to our answer here. Um, but here, that's basically all we need to do to add up all the column totals for everything. At the end of it, we'll have a carry value with, uh, with two digits. It'll be over 10. We still have stuff in there, and we need to put those into our answer array. Um, I can show it here, actually, so it makes more sense. And I guess I could print out the answer column as well. All right, we're just gonna print out all the values of our our final answer array here. And we're also gonna print out the carry value. Uh, so you can see what it equals at the end, because otherwise you can't. We don't have any print statements or anything from zero, so hopefully this thing compiles right. Um, I'm using a make file, as you can see here. Just very, very simple, just all extra. C11 standard, doesn't really matter though. And, flags yeah but it makes it easier on Windows because I can just do mingw make and get a bunch of things that aren't right yay I need to quit switching languages before I record things <laughs> all right now that I fixed my things such as using double quotes and using answer instead of array because I think too much we have all the values here uh -huh. carry is 55 and we need carry so basically, the reason we added two extra places was for our final carry. Now, I didn't know this until I was going through and testing, but carry was two digits, and I wanted to put everything into an answer array so I could get legit, quote-unquote, the first ten digits. So, But we'll need to put the two carry digits uh, basically into our two empty spots here. How do we do that? Well, we're going to move everything we have in here. We're just going to move two places over because it's zero, <laughs> and then we're going to put the carry digits in the front, and then we'll be good to go. Um, we will have to go backward, back, backwards, backwards to forwards, is that right? Back to front? <laughs> That's what we're going to do. So we're going to modify our thing here. It's going to be count 51, greater than, equal to zero, and minus, minus. And what we're going to do for each one is just move them over two places. The current one we're on, we're going to equal minus two. <laughs> so 51 at the end will be 49. And then 50 would be 48, so we'll move everything over two places. And that'll work out nicely. But the first two places will then be zero after everything's moved over, so we're going to put carry in those places by taking the first one, just doing carry modulus 10 to lop off the first digit as a remainder, put into there, which will be a 5. Carry will divide itself by 10, and then it will just equal 5, and then we'll do the same thing again. 
Hopefully that makes sense. We don't need to deal with the carry anymore because we're not going to use it. We can also just set the second position of the answer array equal to carry divided by 10 because that'll be 5 anyway. That, that might simplify things slightly. And go through the first 10 digits and that should be our answer. I mean, you have the answer here already, 55 and then all these, so it should be 55 plus, plus the first eight places. I just want it to look a little better. But that is that is basically the whole thing, the whole shebang there. And there you go, first 10 digits of sum are 553-737-6230. 553-737-6230. Five, five, so we're good. We are correct. As I get this editor out of the way, we're good, we are correct. <laughs> that is the answer there. They match up, so hopefully you guys understood, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, the next one we're going to go over will be number 14, the longest collapse sequence. Should be fun, uh-huh, maybe, interesting, we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.